channel. Sorry for the side profile, but today I'm going to show you how to take an old vintage skirt, such as this one here, and turn it into a cute two-piece. Uh, this one here has pockets, which is what I liked about it, as well as the different prints and these cute little buttons on both sides. Um, so basically, uh, follow the link down below or visit my blog to see the inspiration behind it. So let's get started. Take the skirt and towards the bottom of it, you're going to want to cut um, the bottom half, but you're going to want to measure to see, first of all, how high of a chest area you have. So go ahead and measure your chest and then measure from the bottom to the top. Also remember to leave about a, an inch to an inch and a half to allow for seam allowance. Also, I'm going to be using chalk uh, to outline everything. You can use whatever you'd like, but I feel that sometimes chalk is the easiest. Uh, and for this, all we're going to do is we are going to, once I get it out, draw a line once I've measured. So I'm just and it's, you know, an estimate of where I want it to be. Okay, dot, 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 that's how big I want it. Now I'm going to go across with my measure, measuring tape, sorry, and figure out exactly where I want um, to make sure it's all even all the way across so I don't cut my pieces apart and the skirt is lopsided or the top. Once you have that in place, go ahead and pin all around. This will make it easier for when you cut and sew. Okay, so what I did was I took the chalk and I went ahead and um, connected all of the dotting that I had made. And now I'm just going to cut it right across. Try and be as precise as this as possible, but don't worry if you mess up because we're just going to fold both of those edges over to uh, sew them together. So now that you have the skirt part, it should be the exact length that you want. If not, cut more off now before we move on to this step. But I like the length of it, so I'm going to go ahead. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to flip the skirt inside out and fold over about half an inch to an inch, however short you want or however big the hemline you want to be. Okay, I'm going to fold it over starting on one of the creases, the edges, because I think it makes it easier for me. But in order to do this, you want to pin it down and then use your measuring tape if you're not good at eyeballing it and just measure around all the way across the bottom, pinning it first before you end up sewing it. Okay, this will uh, save you a lot of time later undoing it because, you know, your one side goes up higher than the rest. So I'm just going to keep pinning and you'll just do it all the way across. And run it through your sewing machine. So, like I said, it doesn't matter about the side that you cut because it's being, uh, it's going to be towards the inside of the skirt and just sew right across. Okay, then I'm going to take my elastic. Let's work on the top half of the skirt now. Okay, I'm using elastic band and what I want to do is I'm going to measure underneath, I'm sorry, on top first of my bust because that's where I want the elastic to go because I'm going to make like a bandeau stretchy top. Okay, got the measurements almost there. At this point, it, you know, take your time with it because you don't want it to be too tight under your arms or anything like that. So I'm going to cut. And what's going to help is, because we're doing two of them, you're going to write the letter T to remind you that this is going to be the top um, elastic, that you're using it for the top. Then go ahead and do the same thing for the bottom. Okay, and again, take your time. Make sure that it's not going to be too tight or too loose for you. And I'm going to cut, and we're going to write the letter B for bottom, or however you, it's going to be easier for you to remember. Okay, and there's the letter B. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut into the bottom half that we cut to use for the, our top half, and I'm going to cut through one of the seams because you already have so many seams going on in the skirt that you don't want to create an extra one in the middle of the skirt, so just cut where there was already a seam. Okay, the bottom half of the skirt is already hemmed, and I want to use it for the bottom because I think it'll look cuter there and because I want the top to be a little bit of a tighter ruffle. Okay, so taking your elastic that you measured for your top, make sure what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin it down. I'm going to show you two ways. First of all, I think everybody will probably like it better this way, but I'm not that huge of a fan of this type of ruffle, but you can do this. So you'll attach it to one side, and then you're going to pull your elastic and sew. So as you pull, it's going to, with your fabric, bring it in like that. Okay, and you'll do the same thing. Pull, keep pulling while you're doing it, and it'll curl on its own. But I don't want to do it that way. I want it to have, um, I don't want it 
I want my top half to look very flowy, very, um, just a larger fit, very loose fitting. So I'm measuring to make sure that my elastic will fit under there. I'm going to create my own hem, kind of like the bottom of the skirt had already. And I'm going to measure to make sure that the elastic fits in there because I'm going to slide it through. Okay, yep, it fits. Perfect. So now go all the way across and pin everything down the same length all the way across. And this will again will do it through the whole thing. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and sewed it so you know what to do. As you're putting it through the machine, put the pins through, take the pins out, sorry, and uh, run it through the machine. Okay, now I'm going to take my elastic, the top half, and I'm going to put a safety pin on it. This will help you because it'll be easier to feed the elastic through in case you've never done it before. Anyone that has knows it's a piece of cake. So you just slip it through and push and pull. Going to have to fold my elastic a little bit in half to make it snake through easier. There we go. Let's try again. Loop it through. And there we go. So we got it started. Okay, and you're going to keep doing that all the way through. Pull, push, pull, push, pull. Okay, and again, you don't have to do this style. You can do whatever style you want to the top half. This is just something I wanted to do because I wanted it to look um, very bohemian chic. So, top half is done. See what I mean by a lot more of those ripples at the top, like ruffles. Now we're going to take the bottom one, do the exact same thing to the bottom. Okay, make sure that you pin your elastic that you finished with at the top on both ends. I didn't do, I didn't show that in the video. Um, oh, what I'm doing right now is I'm showing you that the bottom half of the skirt that you had cut is already hemmed and it already has a hole because we cut it open. So all you should be able to do is put a pin on the bottom of your elastic and feed it right through. Okay, um, now but what I wanted to tell you was make sure you pin your elastic down once you've fed it through from both ends. Otherwise, you'll find that it'll slip right back through and you'll have to start all over again. So pin it once the right way and pin it at the end when you're done. And this one will be a lot easier to feed through because the hem on the bottom of the skirt was much bigger. Okay. Show you how to do it here. Push and pull. Push. Pull. Push. Pull. And just repeat. Okay. So now we have it fed through both ends and see how it has like this ripply effect. It's not super tight. I'm going to take the two ends that I fastened. Okay, I sewed down one edge there. You can see the one that's away from me. And I'm taking that off. But basically all you're going to do is you're going to sew down just those two pieces. You don't have to sew all the way across. Just sew those two little uh, ends that are holding the elastic. It'll make it easy for you. And if you want to use a safety pin to hold it down, why not? Don't worry about the edging um, where my hand is resting, where my ring is, um, because that we're going to so later and we can cut off so you don't have all that excess string hanging off. Okay, so pin those down and just give those a quick little sew. At this point you're going to want to put it against you and make sure, you can see that I'm already wearing the skirt because I had tried it on uh, and just put my black shirt back on but didn't bother to change my pants. You just want to make sure it fits because if it doesn't, now's the time to adjust it. Now all you do is you take the two ends, now that I know that that's the way I want it, sew, go back and forth, back and forth at the top and sew it right down. Okay, so there's my little bandeau. And now any of the inside you can cut off. And here's the result. So it's the skirt. You can wear it both ways here with a belt, however you want. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed. Have a great time and tune in next time.